So some of us remember when the Go XLR was actually losing all support. Like they were letting go of everybody. And realistically, the only other like competitor that the Go XLR had was the Rodecaster Pro. And I ain't gonna lie, that joint cost six hundred dollars. And I don't know about you, but like to me. That's that's a lot of money. Granted, Elgato did have the Wave XLR, which actually allowed you to have an XLR interface, minus like the knobs and buttons that you would want from an XLR interface. It has one big knob and that's, that's it. Well, that's until now. The Stream Deck Plus plus the XLR dock can be used in tandem together to create a complete audio interface, but that's not the only things it can do. What's going on everybody? My name is Fly Guy GBG. I do tech, skits, video games, and some stream stuff. So if you like that kind of content, go ahead and give your boy a sub, turn on those notifications, and like the video. It really helps your boy out. If you were like me and you were looking for an all-inclusive audio interface, this is exactly where you need to go. Stop right here. Go ahead and buy the device. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Just buy this device. But guess what? It doesn't just control your audio. Because it's a Stream Deck, it does a lot more. For example, on my Stream Deck right here, of course I have different knobs. I have four different knobs, but those four different knobs can be set to a whole bunch of different things. You can go to different pages and whatnot. But this one specifically, this knob right here, allows me to change like my lighting so I can turn down my lighting if I need to. I can turn up my lighting if I need to. I can turn off my lighting if I need to. I can turn it up again. I can do that with all of my lighting that I have sitting here. Like it's it's just really simple and easy in order for you to be able to control something that's actually very crucial to a lot of people's streams. A lot of people don't realize how much it like really, how much you really need to focus on your lighting. So just with the Stream Deck Plus, not only do you get this audio interface, but you get lighting control? That's crazy. Now, if you already had a Stream Deck, you could already turn up your lighting, turn down your lighting, turn off your lighting, do all that fun stuff. You could even turn up your volume and turn down your volume and all that fun stuff. However, I'm going to be completely honest when I say this. Having it on a knob, opposed to having a spam press a button, it's way easier. I'm not going to lie to you. Streamlining the process amazingly. I still haven't even filled up all of my pages, but if you scroll through, you can change audio, lighting. For me specifically, I have my Discord set up because sometimes people are too low and sometimes people are way too loud. I even have my different sound effects. So like, I want to have those. I have uh, a whole bunch of different things. Some of the things I don't want to play because it's for my stream. So you should probably come check it out. But yeah, man, there's a whole bunch of things that I can actually press. Um, and the reason the Stream Deck Plus plus the XLR dock actually stands out more than the Go XLR or the Rodecaster Pro is yes, you can actually do those audio interface things, but there's more. The Stream Deck has like countless things that you can do. I have not even tapped the surface of what the Stream Deck can do right now. And I have three of them. Actually, I lied. I got four because I got a foot pedal too. So there's so many things that you can do with the Stream Deck and with the XLR dock just basically plug and played on top of it it's it's really worth it because it's way cheaper as well in all seriousness with the go xlr you're probably going to pay at minimum 400 dollars now with the string deck plus the xlr dock and the wave dx if you decide to get all three at one time it's 400 dollars that sounds like you can get three things for the price of one to me i i could be just me but i think i'm gonna go with the better deal i just wanted to show y'all a quick feature because like i told y'all this is not an xlr dock this is not a stream deck by itself this is more than just that right now i'm showing you a dial stack so what a dial stack allows me to do is use one of the dials just one to stack multiple inputs on top of it. So I just click on the dial, I just click on the dial, I just click on the dial to get to whatever input that I'm trying to adjust at that point in time. So for example, if I wanted my browser louder, 
I would in, I would put that as an input. If I wanted my sound effects louder or even quieter, I would put that as an input so I can use the dial in order to turn it up and down. If I need my mic to be louder for whoever else, for the audience and whatnot, I can actually put that on here so I can turn that up and down via the knobs as well. It's very, very simple to do. I'm not going to lie. It's almost plug and play. It's almost like fly guy proof because fly guy can mess some stuff up i promise you i can mess some stuff up so essentially the stream deck plus with the xlr dock is able to control the control center and the wavelength software as well as a lot more there's a lot more you can do with it i'm just showing you the basics right now you can do a lot with the stream deck plus plus the xlr dock if you were to dive into the Elgato Marketplace, you will be able to see there's countless programs that are compatible with the Stream Deck that you're able to actually control on the Stream Deck Plus. It's very simple. Um, it's just, it's really your imagination, what you feel like you need to improve your quality of life when it comes to your stream or your content. The Stream Deck Plus can do it for you though.